Hello everybody, I have a quick little video on some explosive damage comparison with different materials and rust. Uh, we're going to start out with the 556 explosive ammo on a wooden wall. So roughly half a clip from an M249 of explosive 556 is enough to take down a wooden wall on the soft side. Now it might be slightly higher on the, the other side of the wall. And by soft side I mean if you look at the wall on wood it has that log texture on it and the inside is more of a plank. Uh, let's do some satchels and see how much it takes to knock down a wooden wall with that if it ever explodes. Uh, don't mind satchels, they're relatively cheap to make and they're really good in the early game for easy hits on targets but they have some pretty big drawbacks, one being they don't always explode and if you get into a tight spot and you have to go reignite your satchel it can be a nightmare if you can't get away from it, you're going to blow yourself up. So you got to be very careful when you use satchels. Just like that, it didn't explode. Sometimes, I've had them do that maybe eight or nine times. It can be a royal pain in the butt. So it looks like we did about a third of the damage, so let's see if two more will be enough. Okay, so about three satchels is enough to take down a wooden wall. Now let's do the rocket. So the rocket just about took down that wall. In this case, I wouldn't use another rocket, but we'll use another one and rebuild our structure anyway, since we've got unlimited rockets on this server, which is the Bob the Builder server, where you can come and test out ideas and all kinds of things and whatnot. Next, we will move on to C4, which should be one. C4 does pretty much 250 damage to everything. Except armor, it does. It's only three um, C4 for an armored wall, even though the wall says it's a thousand. C4 is great for really precise explosions. It doesn't damage things around you. Same with satchels. So looks like one C4 for that. We'll move on to the stone. The stone has 500 health. So we've dropped a whole clip in there, it's about halfway, so I'm assuming around 200 rounds or so of explosive fire. Again, this is the soft side of the The other side's got more about here. So yeah, about two clips, 200 rounds of 5.56 explosive ammo will take that out. Now keep in mind, if you do put a silencer on it, it will be slightly less, and it might cost you more. Now let's see how many satchels it takes to knock down this stone wall. I'm assuming it's quite a bit. Let's see how much damage one does first. Uh, if I remember right, it's roughly 50 to 60. Okay, so yeah, pretty close to that. So it should take about 10 satchels to knock this down. Five so far, six, seven, eight. Put those below. Come on, satchels. Anytime. Nine and ten. Someone decided to join us to take some shots. Too bad he can't kill me. Joke's on you, fool. Come on, let's go. So we've got 10 on there thus far. Whenever they decide to explode. Come on, really? This is what I'm talking about. Satchels could be a royal pain. So the last two should be it. Really? <sighs> Come on now. Come on, last one. Well, they do do varying degrees of damage. I haven't figured out why that is, but it's usually with between 50 and 60 ish damage. You little bitch.
We'll find out here whenever this decides to explode. It's being a pain in the butt. What I usually use satchels with is, uh, it takes four of them to destroy a, uh, sheet metal door. So there we have it. Ten satchels for that. Let's move on to rockets. Like I was saying, um, about four for a sheet metal door, but you can also use a rocket and a satchel to take a sheet metal door out, which is a little quicker and more efficient. Now I know from experience that it takes four rockets to knock down a uh, stone wall here. There we go. You want to try to use these in corners and wherever you can squeeze them in to do multiple damage because the splash damage from that will damage the other side of the can See how the foundation is almost gone. And the other side of this wall is about half. So you want to do maximum damage with uh, rockets as you can. They're probably the most efficient of all the explosives. And C4 I know is 2. So all in all, it's about 200 rounds of explosive 556, 10 satchels, 4 rockets, or 2 C4 for stone walls. And that goes for both sides. Let's move on to metal. Now metal has 750 strength, so we can assume Positive thing with the uh, the stone or the excuse me the metal walls is you cannot pickaxe the metal walls as you can the stone. If you are able to get on the top side of the stone walls, and they also hold up a little better to explosive damage. So let's see here if this last clip what the hell happened here. Oh, okay. Wrong ammo. Another thing too with stone, you can damage it with as well. Just about there. So roughly three clips, three hundred rounds of 5.56 five, explosive ammo to knock down a metal wall. Now we'll do satchels. I'm gonna take a few satchels for that. See how much damage it does for one satchel first. Roughly the same as stone. So let's uh, pile them on here. Four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, and ten. Well, they're all going off nicely this time. Doesn't happen very often. So we're almost there. A couple more. Eleven. I uh, don't know what happened there. Twelve. Thirteen. Let's see if that'll do it. I don't think so. Maybe one more after this. 14. Okay, so 13 got it down. I gotta wait for that one. Okay. Actually went pretty well. You don't usually go that quickly. So now we'll move on to our rockets. Which will be four. And I can keep two rocket launchers handy because you can shoot them pretty quickly. It takes a little longer to reload, but then you can. Drop two rockets right away. So four rockets knock down a metal wall. Now we'll repair that and see how many it takes to knock down a metal wall with C4, which is two. So pretty much the same metal or stone. The only advantages with metal, oops, being you can't pickaxe it, and it takes a little more explosive ammo to destroy it. Than it does. So, this fits the RC4. 2C4 should be enough. 
I'm curious to see how many satchels it takes to knock down an armored wall, because I've never actually done that before. See how much more of a difference it is for the armored wall than it is the metal. Because armor does cost quite a bit. So, here we are. We'll move on to armor. Alright, see how many explosive fire by six for the armored wall. Still do Thank God for the M249. Excellent gun. Halfway there, so my prediction is coming true. About 400. Almost there. A little bit more to go. Yeah, a little shy of that, but not very practical to use explosive ammunition to take out an armored wall. Let's see how many satchels it takes. I'm guessing it's quite a bit. What do we have on the sheet metal? 13. Let's see how many we get here. Let's see if it'll be nice to us like it was on the last one, too. And go all very quickly, but I doubt that. That was rare. And you also got to think of the costs of using some of these. Uh, explosive ammo is not cheap to make compared to rockets and such. So about 50. So let's see how many we need here. We got three now, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Stack one. Oh, wow, not bad. Stand still, so we picked one up. One off quick. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Getting close. So that's 15. Maybe three more. 16, 17. That might do it. We'll see. You dirt dog. 17. I'm guessing it's going to have a little bit of health left. Yep. So one more, 18. That's a lot of satchels for one wall. So 18 satchels for an armored wall, roughly. Granted, you try to use one with five health. Now let's hit rockets on here. Should be six rockets total. That's three. A good benefit of rockets is you kill people with them with your rating. If they get in your way, you can blow them up a bit. It's handy sometimes, especially when they get in a tight spot in the base of your rating and you can't get them. Throw a rocket in there and get rid of them. So six rockets destroy an armor wall. Get this fixed. How expensive it is to fix an armor wall. I play on modded servers usually, but I can imagine on vanilla it would be quite expensive to fix this. 
So it should be 3C4 to destroy this wall. Which I've always kind of wondered how that works because 1,000 health, these do 250 damage. How does that destroy the wall? So here's another thing with sheet metal doors. It's a couple little tricks. You can use 1C4 on it. We'll take it out. Get a couple doors ready. Show you some other ones. Drop another door. You can use a rocket and explosive ammo, which is what I like. It's really quick. And it's not much explosive ammo. We already threw that one real quick. Let's do one more. You can also do a rocket and a satchel. Works just as well as the explosive ammo. Another um, thing I want to point out too, if you have a double armored door, you can use 2C4. Depends on if it's an armored wall. I prefer to use C4 when it's an armored wall. Anyways, thank you for watching. I hope this video helped you guys out, and I'll see you next time.